Hello and welcome to my unboxing and first look at the Goff Rocker for Warhammer 40,000 from Games Workshop. Now, it's in this box right here. We're gonna take a look at this uh, year's uh, Christmas uh, mini. Um, there will be uh, like a first look uh, at uh, De Gobbo's Demise and a separate video about the uh, festive guide. This looks quite cool actually. Um, but yeah, I'll be doing separate videos uh, of those coming to the channel very soon. This miniature will cost you £21 and consists of 10 plastic pieces. I'm not sure uh, what size base it comes in because they've left that out, but I'm sure it comes in like a probably 32 mil maybe. We'll, we'll have a look. Um, the previous years we've had uh, De Gobbo. Um, you know, we've had him uh, on a, a pile of, on an ammo crate, which is like presents kind of thing. And we've also had him uh, on, a, on a squig. But this year, Games Workshop have gone for the Goth Rocker. I think cheaper than um, the Red Gobbo. According to my 2019 The Red Gobbo unboxing, uh, he was £20 back then. The Red Gobbo on the Bouncer Squig, um, two years later in 2021, was £23.50. Uh, so actually, this Goth Rocker is somewhere in between. Um, uh, yeah, let's uh, unbox this and have a look. I did I, I did want to uh, release this video um, yesterday, but uh, I had to do things and uh, kind of got in the way. Uh, so here we are. I thought with this Christmas model you'd, you'd get the festive guide, but yeah, really nice box art as you'd come to expect. Warhammer commemorative series, Orcs, Goth, Rocker. That's what he looks like. Doesn't have any extra options. Got the cool looking squig amp or squamp or squimp, however you want to call it. Uh, there's no specific rules for him. He's he's not a noise marine wannabe or a cacophony wannabe or anything like that. He You can just use him as a uh, orc knob or war boss or whatever, really. Uh, that's what Games Workshop suggests you use him for. Um, Kind of getting a little band together, aren't we? You know, we've got the goth rocker, we've got the um, electric guitarist, the noise marine, we've got the even the harp player uh, for um, uh, Slanesh hoplites. Uh, so yeah, uh, it would be quite cool to make a band out of um, you know Games Workshop miniatures uh, and their um, musical instruments, I guess. Uh, you know, who could we have on drums? Could we have like a Mechanicus on drums or something? Or, uh, or organ? You could have uh, Sisters of Battle on the organ. That'd be quite cool. Bit of Daft Punk going on. Um, yeah, unfortunately it comes in this uh, plastic tray, which, you know, best way to recycle is not to create the plastic in the first place, but, you know, that is what it is. Um, so that's unfortunate, but uh, but still, uh, there must have been a reason to, to do that. And uh, I say it's to protect something, maybe to protect this strap strap on uh you've got a that's actually a terminator base that's a 40 mil base that's pretty pretty cool this is the instruction guide uh so it comes in like sort of halves then you put the guitar on and then the strap and then his grenade mic and then his head and then he just goes on like so so quite straightforward to put together uh will i do a review of him yeah i'll, I'll do a review um i'll try and get the review out quite soon and i'll just go through sort of like uh, some size comparisons with my knobs um, and also probably just highlight uh, rules for my knobs as well. Um, so yeah, let's have a look at the sprue. Uh, it's quite straightforward, 2022 on there. You've got his oh, really cool head look with a, like a skull on there. You've got a gauntlet with the grenade mic. You've got the guitar. That's quite cool. Um, I think there's an electric guitar, like the Noise Marines, so are we missing a bassist now? Um, obviously this orc can sing, he's got the microphone, uh, but I don't know, maybe the Noise Marine could be the bassist, maybe he could get a cacophony to be the bassist, you know, but yeah, 
looks pretty cool. I can't see any weapons on him. <laughs> like, I can't see a shooter, stubber, whatever. So there you go. That is the Orcs Goth Rocker. Uh, what do you guys think? Um, please do put your thoughts and opinions down in the comments below. It'd be great to hear from you. Thank you ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. Gork and Mork Protect.